So in this video I'm going to be electroplating one of these strips of lead and then creating a lead acid battery cell. Now this is much simpler than you would believe. All you need is yeah, some lead, a little bit of copper and some battery acid and two volts of electricity which I am getting from changing these batteries at 25.6 down to two volts which will come out on here. And then all you do to start with is hook on negative, positive, drop them in here with a bit of acid, hook it up and you'll start to get lead oxide form on there. Now this is what we need to do first, get the lead oxide before we can make the battery cell. Right, let's start doing that. So... This has obviously arrived broken in the post. It's not putting out any amps. Well, let me set the voltage, but won't let me set the ampage. So I've just hooked this up to a little 6 volt battery now to demonstrate the principle. As you can see, you've got hydrogen forming on the copper and oxygen forming on the lead there. And you can see it's going blacky red colour. That's lead oxide. Oh, sorry, lead dioxide forming. This is basically uh, pre-charging this, and then hopefully, as soon as I drop this in the uh, in another jar with the two plates of lead, one with this dioxide on, I should hopefully have a charge straight away then. So this has been bubbling away nicely for a good ten minutes now. I'll uh, quickly turn all this off. Fill a new beaker up with some battery acid and then uh, see if we've got a charge going already. Got the uh, fresh battery acid in there. You can see a nice layer of oxide on there. And as you can see, 1.3 volts without even a, a charge so far. Now, theoretically, this is a rechargeable battery. So, let's try taking this down a little bit. Oh, switched itself off. Let's try taking this down a little bit to less than. 1.3 volts and then uh, see if we can put a bit of charge back in it again so we're at 1.71 volts and dropping as you can see discharging let's drain this down till the bulb goes off and then we'll give it another little boost and see if we can recharge it so we're down to 1.4 and self discharging a little bit still bulbs off, let's hook this on again up to 5 volts let's give it 5-10 seconds here, let this just bog the charge a little bit as you can see effervescent, off gassing a little bit there when you put too high voltage through it, obviously this is what's going to happen you don't really want this to happen unless you want to be topping up your distilled water all the time in an actual battery for now, doesn't matter. Right, let's unplug this. Two point two and drop in relatively fast. But recharged. Went up half a volt. Guess if they can uh stop itself discharging as much. It'd be a all right, little battery already. This. So, bump charged it a few more times. Voltage holds much better now. It still drops fairly steadily, but working. I feel like uh, we're on the the chance to do another test now, or we'll make a slightly bigger one. I think we'll make a full cell. Battery to maybe try and make a 12 volt one. 
or maybe at least a six volt. See where we're at. Right, till next time.